Hello everyone. Today we are going to read The Snail's Wonderful Journey. The author is Aruna Kirti Gamage. The illustrator is Aruna Kirti Gamage. And the translator is Alicia Berger. And the publisher is Room to Read. So let's read the snail's wonderful journey. So in this picture, can you see where the snail is? What do you, what do you think is this picture? This is of a mountain and you can see a road and you can see some clouds and you can see this basket of fruit in which, who's this? This is the snail and looks like he had a journey. So let's read more about that. Cheta, the snail, wants to take a trip on the highway. So here is Cheta, the snail, and he is standing by the side of the highway. You can see a bus here, you can see some signs, and he wants to take a trip. On the highway, how is he going to do that? He sees a bus coming quickly towards him. The bus stops nearby. Oh, there is a gecko on the bus. So the bus is coming on the highway and you know that buses and cars go very fast on the highway so it's coming quickly and then it stops near him at that point what does he see he sees a gecko on the bus a gecko is a type of lizard and it's sitting on the bus the bus slows down to let passengers on and off when Gecko sees Cheta, he isn't happy. This bus is mine, he says. Well, the road is mine, says Cheta. They both laugh. So here are the Gecko and Cheta the snail. And the Gecko is not happy to see Cheta. Because why? He thinks the snail is going to come on the bus and he says, this bus is my territory. This is my bus. Don't take it. And Cheta says, well, you can have the bus. The road is mine. I'm on the road. And they both laugh. They become friends. I want to ride on the bus like you, says Cheta. Then come to this stop early tomorrow morning, says Gecko. So Cheta tells the Gecko, I want to ride on the bus. So remember, he wanted to go for a trip on the highway. And he says, let me ride on the bus and go for my trip. And Gecko says, okay, you know, come to the same place early tomorrow morning and you can ride the bus with me. Cheta arrives early the next morning, but not early enough. He misses the bus. Oh, why haven't they made a watch for a snail? Cheta moans. So next morning, what happens? The gecko tells Cheta to come early, no? But Cheta gets late and he misses the bus. You can see the bus going. It's gone. It's too late for Cheta. And Cheta is sad. He says they need a watch that is as small as a snail's wrist. Cheta tries again the next morning, but this bus never comes. Oh, the bus must have broken down, 
moans Cheta. How unlucky I am. So what happens the next morning when Cheta comes? This time he comes early. Okay, because yesterday he missed the bus. This morning he comes early, but the bus doesn't come. So then Cheta thinks that the bus must be under repair. It must have broken down. And he is sad again that he is unlucky to have missed the bus again. I am not going home tonight. Cheta thinks to himself. I will stay right here and wait for the bus. So this time Cheta is determined to catch that bus. And so he stays right there near the stop. And he says he'll stay there all night and wait for the bus in the morning. So then what happens? The next morning, there is a long queue of people waiting for the bus. Cheta the snail manages to get on. But he is so small compared to all the people's feet that Gecko cannot see him. So what happens the next morning? See, there are a lot of people waiting for the bus and Cheta is also there waiting and Cheta manages to get on the bus. But he's so tiny, right? See, these people are so big and the Gecko can't see him. Oh, Cheta still hasn't come, thinks Gecko sadly. So Gecko can't see Cheta among all the people. There are so many people, he can't see him. So he's sad. He thinks, oh no, he hasn't come again. Cheta crawls to the windowsill. He is thrilled to see trees, houses, and mountains passing speedily by. The bus is so fast. So here is Cheta. He did get on the bus, right? And so he goes to the windowsill of the bus and the bus is going fast on the highway. And Cheta is just thrilled. He's so excited to see everything passing by so fast. He's having fun. Riding a bus is like floating through the sky, thinks Cheta happily. So Cheta is imagining that he is floating through the sky because he's going so fast and he is at this height, right? Cheta is a snail that's usually close to the ground. And now he is on top of a big bus. He is sitting on the windowsill. And so that's very high. And so he thinks, ooh, riding a bus is like floating through the sky. I never imagined an experience like this, sighs Cheta. This time, Gecko hears him. Gecko is so happy to see his fellow traveler. So Cheta is sitting here on the windowsill and looking at everything passing by and he is so happy. He is so happy and he is thinking about, he's, he's talking to himself. Wow, this is so nice. I'm having so much fun. And this time when he is talking to himself, Gecko hears him and he is happy to see him. Hey, you know, he made it. He's on the bus. In the evening, the bus returns to Cheta's stop. Gecko gets off with his new friend. 
what a wonderful journey we had today, says Cheta. So in the evening when the bus returns to Cheta's stop, they both get off, Gekko and Cheta. And they both think, wow, today was so much fun. It was such a wonderful journey. I want to fly like that again. My friend, there are so many different buses, says Gecko. Our adventures will be endless. So when Cheta thinks that he wants to fly like that, remember he was thinking what the bus felt like, that you were just flying on the clouds, you're floating on the clouds. And he wants to have that experience again. And Gecko tells him, you know, Cheta, there are so many buses. Each of them goes on a different road and see, you can see different things. And they will have endless adventures. I hope you enjoyed this book. Thank you. The difficult words in this story are snail, a type of animal with a hard shell, gecko, a type of lizard, to moan, to cry, to break down for a bus or car, to stop working, thrilled, very excited and happy. Try these questions. What is the story about and what did you learn from it? In this story, Cheta made his wish come true. What is your wish? Write about how you could make it come true.